Hello, and welcome to Brush My Quant channel. If you wish to increase your knowledge of maths and want to receive regular updates from us, then consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe icon to the right bottom of this screen. Let's get started with today's topic of roots. Also, if you're interested in watching the theory video for exponents, then I have provided a link of the same in the description of this video. So even root of any number will always be a positive value. Now, what do we mean by this? So let's take an example of square root of 36. Now, if you take square root of 36, then square root of 36 will always be a positive number. So remember this, square root of any number will always be a positive number. Now, you might be thinking that you have actually learned something else. So what we have learned is when x square is equal to 36 is given to us, then x will be equal to plus minus 6. Now, why is it plus minus 6? Because there is a step in between this. So when you are taking square root on both these sides, you will get x is equal to plus minus square root of 36. That's why this becomes x is equal to plus minus 6. Now square root of a multiplied by square root of b is equal to square root of a into b. Let's take an example. So square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 4 will be equal to square root of 3 into 4 will be nothing but square root of 12. Square root of a divided by square root of b is equal to square root of a divided by 2. Let's take an example. So square root of 6 divided by square root of 3 will become square root of 6 divided by 3, which is nothing but square root of 2. Square root of a whole raised to n is equal to square root of a raised to n. Let's take an example. So let's say square root of 4 whole cube will be equal to Square root of 4 we know is equal to 2, is equal to 2 cube, is equal to 8. Let's solve using the right hand side. So right hand side says square root of 4 cube. So this will become square root of 2 raised to 6 or square root of 2 cube will be nothing but 8. So square root of a whole raised to n is equal to square root of a raised to n. Now square root of x plus minus y is not equal to square root of x plus minus square root of y. Let's take an example. So let's say square root of 2 plus 3, which will be nothing but square root of 5. What we are saying is this is not equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3. We cannot split the square roots like this. Similarly, if it was square root of 3 minus 2, will be nothing but square root of 1. And we are saying this is not equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Because we know that square root of 3 is equal to 1.7 and square root of 2 is around 1.4. So this will be 0 0.3. And square root of 1, as we already know, is equal to 1. Definitely both of them are not equal. Now a raised to x divided by y is equal to yth root of a raised to x. Let's take an example. So let's say 3 raised to 6 by 2 will be nothing but 3 cube, which is nothing but 27. And right hand side says yth root of, so that means square root of 3 raised to 6. This also becomes 3 raised to 6 by 2 or 3 cube, which is equal to 27. Square root of a whole square is equal to mod of a. That means square root of a number is always positive. So square root of a square is equal to minus a when a is less than or equal to 0. That means square root of minus 3 whole square will become square root of 3 square, which is equal to 3. And if you want to write 3 in terms of minus 3, this becomes minus of minus 3. Similarly, square root of a square is equal to a when a is greater than or equal to 0. That means square root of 3 square will be equal to 3 itself, which is a positive number. So remember, square root of a number is always positive. Now, if there is a question where you need to simplify square root of n, then how will you do it? So to simplify square root of n, we need to express n in power of prime numbers and then need to take out the even powers. So let's take an example, square root of 56, we can write this as square root of 7 into 8 
which is equal to square root of 7 into 2 into 4 or nothing but square root of 14 multiplied by 2 square. This 2 square can come out. So this becomes 2 multiplied by square root of 14. So this is how you can simplify square root of any number. Hope you were able to understand some of the concepts related to roots which you have discussed in this video. If you did, please go ahead and like the video, provide your valuable comments, do share the video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe icon. Thank you once again for your time.